Hey guys, with it getting warmer out, I wanted to give you a look at the Leving universal cell phone mount for your bike. Let's get to it. Hey guys, just to start with, on this channel, I do tech reviews of the tech and tech accessories that I own and love, and that I think you're gonna love too. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Last summer, I got into the habit of riding my bike for exercise. While riding my bike, I was kind of picky and I wanted to be able to see the route that I'd taken, how far it had been, and what time and what kind of a pace I was taking while doing it. To be able to do that real time like I wanted to, I couldn't have my phone in a pocket and I couldn't have it in an under seat pouch because I wouldn't be able to tell that information. So I got this stand so that I could mount it to my handlebar and see the information that I wanted to real time while also being able to control my music. I'm really happy with the quality of this mount and was actually pretty surprised at how good of a job it did of holding my phone while I was doing off-road trail riding and not just while on asphalt in city streets. The two side arms on the stand do a really good job of just holding the phone in general place, but it's the four rubber bands that come around either corner of the phone or every corner of the phone that really give it the stabilization and keep it from just shooting out of those two arms when you hit a bump or when you crash your bike. I actually bit it a couple of times this last summer when I was riding the off-road trails, and while I went flying, my phone stayed in place and never actually came out of the mount. One of the crashes was actually down a hill and I went sliding. My bike fell on top of me, but when I corrected the bike, my phone was exactly in the same spot that it should have been and wasn't even loose from it. I did want to note, the crack that's on my screen isn't from any kind of bike wreck. That's just from me dropping my phone on concrete without a case. The mount attaches to your handlebars with a clamp design that can either be expanded or brought in for smaller or larger handlebars. It is then tightened into place with a thumb screw. The part of the mount that clamps onto your handlebars and actually keeps it in place on the handlebars itself has a rubber or have rubber feet on them. Those can be removed, but I would only do that to clean them because those rubber feet, one, protect the paint job of your bike, but then two, are grippy and keep the mount itself from sliding on the handlebars. The stand also has the ability to do 360 degree rotation, just like a ball joint on a car uh, cell phone stand. I always kept mine in portrait mode, but if you wanted to move it to landscape, you could also do that too. I did a lot of research on bike mounts before I ended up actually purchasing this one for 11 because I have a Nexus 6 and it's a pretty big phone in the grand scheme of cell phone sizes, um, or was before the iPhone 7 Plus. But um, I did my research and this stand actually does a really good job of holding it, even with a rinky, um, that's the brand, um, well, even with it having a slim wine case on it, it will still hold the phone. If I had an OtterBox or something gigantic like that on my phone, it probably wouldn't do a good job of holding it in place, but either a naked phone or a slim bulkless case, it will hold it no problem. I actually took my wife's iPhone 7 Plus, took her case off of it, and was actually able to get it to fit in this mount even though it wasn't designed for it. It, it said it would fit the iPhone 6, um, I believe the 6 Plus, I'll correct that if I'm wrong, um, but it fits the 7 Plus just fine, which is pretty cool. When I bought this stand last year, it was $7.95. Right now it's $6.99 on Amazon. Definitely pick one up for that price. It really is a great deal and a great product for such a low cost if you wanted to ride your bike and be able to keep track of your uh, statistics while you're riding the bike. So I'll also be honest with you, even though I did buy this for you know the use of exercise and being able to, to view my statistics while I was riding, it also had to do with Pokemon Go. It's a lot quicker to ride your bike from point A to point B than it is to walk, especially in my town where everything seems like it's really spread out um, all across the town. Way more efficient. I don't know if it's gonna be a big deal this summer like it was last summer, but that's the way to do it. So that does it for my review of the Levin bike cell phone mount. If you're in the market for something to help you play Pokemon Go or to help you keep track of your statistics while you're riding your bike, you, re you really can't get any better than this. It's simple, it does the job, and it's secure. You're not gonna drop your phone on wooden trails or on concrete or asphalt. It holds the phone well enough that you don't have to worry about your phone falling out, even if it's naked and not having a case on it. Thanks for stopping by and taking a look. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. We'd love to help you out in any way that I can. But this is Aaron. Until the next one, take care.